Some North Shore residents held a protest at Lani Akea today. Lawmakers and residents say they want solutions for the traffic situation and are urging the state to make the area safer. Nikki Shenzo has more. Well, today's protest comes on the heels of a 10-year-old boy being struck by a car running across Kamehameha Highway just two weeks ago. Residents say that they're angry because they have been proposing solutions for over a decade now with no results. Some residents use their cars to block others from parking on a typically busy Sunday at Laniakea. As a community, we feel like we're being left out. Our roads are terrible. This has been over a decade, and people are fed up. Many residents sit in gridlock traffic daily and plan their day around what they call turtle traffic. I asked one resident how long the three-and-a-half-mile drive from the Haleiwa Bypass to Waimea Bay takes on a weekend. Uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon to Waimea. Probably 45 minutes to an hour. Saturday, Sunday is one thing, but this is a daily occurrence. Even Keiki are tired of the traffic. And there's turtles every in every beach. Go anywhere to see turtles. Many want to see the concrete barriers come back. They say it worked and it kept people safe. I'd like to see the barriers put up, at least for a temporary solution. We don't need $65 million to figure out how to block the area there. The barriers are there. Push them back. One little boy getting hurt like that is unacceptable. There's no reason that should have happened. None whatsoever. The State Department of Transportation said they believe the accident could have been avoided if the barriers were still in place. However, back in 2014, they were sued, so the barriers came down. Since then, lawmakers and residents have proposed dozens of solutions. But there could be a temporary solution coming soon with the help of the Hawaii Tourism Authority. They'll come in with some grant monies, and some of the ideas that could be used would be either temporary crossing traffic lights to support uh, crossing guards. They want to be part of the solution, and they're helping facilitate that, and I... Uh, have some hope that we're going to make some progress finally. Now, Representative Sean Quinlan tells me that the city might be able to provide some mobile traffic lights here at Lani Akea. They're just waiting on a response from the City Department of Transportation Services, and that response could come within the next two weeks. From Lani Akea, Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News.